This video is a short introduction into naming of simple molecular compounds. Some facts about molecular compounds. Molecular compounds are formed between nonmetals. The more electropositive element is written first, followed by the more electronegative element. The name of the electronegative element usually ends in IDE. The number of elements present in the formula should be indicated using Greek prefixes and in ionic compounds we do not do that. Names and numbers that we need to remember while naming molecular compounds. Molecular formulas contain numbers written as subscripts and these subscripts are represented using the Greek prefixes. One is mono, two is di, three is tri, four is tetra, five is penta, six is hexa, seven is hepta, octa, nona, and deca. One to ten would suffice for most of the common namings. Here is an example for you. The compound contains carbon and oxygen. There is one carbon atom and carbon is more electropositive than oxygen. The second element is oxygen. There are two of them. Being a more electronegative element, the name ends in ide or we call it oxide. There are two oxygens, therefore it's dioxide. So the name of the compound will be carbon dioxide. Here is another example. The compound contains two nitrogens and five oxygens. Nitrogen is the more electropositive element, therefore the name does not change. There are two nitrogens, therefore we have dinitrogen. The second element being more electronegative ends in ide, so we have an oxide. And there are five oxide atoms, so the name changes to dinitrogen pentoxide. The next element, the next compound contains phosphorus and oxygen. There are two phosphorus atoms, therefore it's diphosphorus. There are five oxygen atoms, therefore pentoxide. The name changes to diphosphorus pentoxide. In this example, we have one carbon and four chlorine atoms. Four is tetra and chlorine is more electronegative, therefore it's chloride. The final name of the compound would be carbon tetrachloride. Here are some examples for you for practice. Now you can pause the video, name these compounds and then you can check your answers. Here are the answers for you. Phosphorus pentachloride, sulfur tetrafluoride, boron trifluoride, silicon tetrachloride, dinitrogen trioxide, oxygen difluoride, phosphorus tribromide, sulfur hexafluoride, monoxide, dihydrogen monoxide or water. Some of the molecular compounds that we have today we still use common names like water, ammonia which is NH3, methane which is CH4. That's it for now. If you like the video please don't hesitate to rate comment and subscribe. Thank you and have a great day.